Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial from BioLife Packs. So today I'll be discussing, uh, I'll just give you a brief overview of a plant cell. So this is how a plant cell looks like. I have drawn the diagram from beforehand itself. So a plant cell, we all know that it is an eukaryotic cell. So what type of cell it is? It is an eukaryotic cell. You can yot. So plant cell is an eukaryotic cell and uh, from the name suggests that this type of cells are present in the plants. They make up the plants. So this is the constituents. These are the major constituents which I have portrayed over here are present in a plant cell. So first beginning with the cell membrane. So we all know the cell membrane or the plasma membrane is present in plant cell as well as in animal cell. So this is the membrane that actually um, means keep the contents of the cytoplasm within itself. Okay. So then after the cell membrane comes an outer membrane which is known as the cell wall. So it is the it is present outside the cell membrane is the cell wall. See this thick lining is the cell wall. So actually the cell wall is made up of cellulose. So which chemical component it is made up of? It is visually made up of cellulose and some of the cell, um, and the cell wall also is made up of some lignin, pectin, hemicellulose but the major component is the cellulose. So what is the main function of cell wall? It actually gives the plant cell its structure, its rigidity. So that is the main important function of the cell wall. Next is your vacuole. So it is one of the cytoplasmic organelles which is present in the plant cell. And what is the main function of the vacuole? One, it helps in storage of sugars or the carbohydrates. It helps in storage. And second, it helps in maintaining the turbo pressure. That is the inward as well as the outward pressure. It helps in maintaining the turgidity as well as the turbo pressure. Now, the membrane of the vacuole is known as tonoplast. Okay, so this is a vacuole. Then comes the nucleus. We all know it is the mother of a cell is the nucleus. Like we say that CPU is the brain of a computer. In similar way that nucleus is the brain of a cell. So it, it performs all the functional and as well as cellular activities. It contains the genetic material, the DNA or the RNA. In the nucleus, that is the DNA, the genetic material is present and those eventually helps in the formation of RNAs as well as proteins. Then comes the nucleus. So the nucleus is present in the nucleus and this is the fluid filled space in the nucleus which is the nucleoplasm. And the nucleus is surrounded by a double membrane which is known as the nuclear membrane. Now speaking of nucleus, the nucleus is actually helps in the formation of the ribosomal RNA. So it helps in the attachment of the units of a ribosome, it helps in the formation of ribosomal RNA and ribosomes and eventually this ribosome helps in producing protein. So actually the main function of nucleus is in the protein, helps in the formation of protein. It has the information of protein synthesis. Fine. Then comes the nuclear membrane. So what is the nuclear membrane? So the nucleus is surrounded by a membrane which is making it an organelle, a double membrane bound organelle and separating it from the other contents of the cytoplasm, other organelles. So that is the nuclear membrane, a double membrane which is covering the nucleus. Then comes the chloroplast. So the chloroplast, um, you just remember, so this is the main constituent, the main means what? It is a significant or the specific constituent which is mostly present in the plant cell. This is, so the chloroplast contains the plastids or the more specifically you can say the chlorophyll molecules and, uh, and in turn this chlorophyll molecules helps in evolution of O2 as well as it helps in the formation of food. That is the process of photosynthesis occurs in this chloroplast uh, and organelle. It is also a double dependent bound organelle. So in, uh, in my uh, later videos you can see the structure of chloroplast where I have explained it. Okay. Then comes the mitochondria. So the mitochondria we all know from our childhood that it is the powerhouse of the cell. That is the plant cell requires some energy. So the energy is produced by the mitochondria in the formation of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Fine. This side over. Now comes with this side is the cytoplasm. So this is the fluid filled space. 
So this is the matrix, the fluid filled space, it is the cytoplasm of a plant cell. Then comes the lysosome. So lysosome are special secretory vesicle which contains some hydrolytic enzymes. Means inside the lysosome there are some enzymes which are mostly acidic that helps in the digestion of other substances. Okay, like the carbohydrates, amino acids. So it helps in digestion, like lysosome helps in digesting other substances. Then comes the centrosome. So as, um, in higher plants you will not find this but I have given here the centrosome is present well, um, during the developmental stages of the plant and, uh, or in the lower group uh, classification of the plant but the centrioles are actually absent in the plant cell. Okay. So these are some, uh, so centrosome actually helps uh, during the cell division process but it is uh, not present in the plant cell. So it is a, uh, it is a, um, means uh, it is, this is the distinguishing feature between the plant cell and the animal cell, fine. Now then comes the endoplasmic reticulum. So this is the total endoplasmic reticulum that has been connected with the nucleus, uh, the nuclear membrane. It contains the, the endoplasmic reticulum that contains the ribosomes on their surface or termed as rough endoplasmic reticulum. Whereas the endoplasmic reticulum that does not have ribosomes are called the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So the major function is um, of these ERs are in the synthesis of the lipids or the carbohydrates. All these functions are taking, taking place in the endoplasmic reticulum. Here ER means endoplasmic reticulum. Then comes the ribosomes. So what are the function of ribosomes? So ribosomes are the protein machinery of a cell. It helps in the synthesis of protein. So this ribosome sits on this particular mRNAs and helps in the formation of a protein. And last comes the Golgi body. So what is the function? The Golgi body is helps in the packaging of the proteins, the transporting of the proteins, formation of the secretory vesicles. So all the different types of modifications which the proteins need to undergo, undergo are being continued, are being processed, they are being processed, packaged inside the Golgi bodies. So this is the brief overview as well as a simple diagrammatic expression, explanation of a plant cell. So if you like my video, please like the uh, please like it share it subscribe it as much as possible so till then bye thank you and take care and stay tuned